Now a few things uh, we found real useful. This is the pseudo cyclone made from a uh, helium uh, party balloon tank. Um, it actually works well. We get about a cup full of uh, fines for every four hour uh, uh, drive out of the uh, blower clean out valve there. This is a Kohler 18 horsepower, uh, 18 and a half horsepower. We have not modified this engine in any way except to feed the uh, gas into the uh, air cleaner uh, in a rubber. There was a hole there and we well or brazed a, uh, a piece in. Um, you notice that we used uh, tubing here, exhaust gas tubing. This is off the shelf. Uh, pretty easy to get. It's relatively cool. I've got a pair of gloves on and while I can hold it, I mean, it would be uncomfortable in a bare hand. Okay, This would be uncomfortable more than just maybe five seconds or so. It's pretty hot. Uh, we come on over here. Now another unusual feature of this is really when we get past this junction where we can hold easily, again back in here, notice that we used flexible radiator tubing. This is it's got a coil on the inside so it won't collapse from the vacuum. It's cheap. It's, e well, relatively cheap, I should say. A piece like this is about $8. Uh, but it uh, withstands heat, you know, up to boiling at least very well. It's easy to bend and to, and to make uh, connections without having to have 90s and whatnot. So, a uh, good idea there. Again, this is a Jim Mason Geek fan. Uh, we tried at least three different fans, uh, vacuum cleaner fans. Uh, vacuums, uh, mini vacuums, things like that, and, and really uh, this was well worth uh, the money. Um, and it wasn't that difficult to, to weld up. Um, here you see the two filters. This is what I would do different. These are five gallon paint cans. Uh, the disadvantage of these guys is that you have to reseal the tops every time, and this is a real hassle to get these things on and off. It does secure them well and they work well but to change filter out uh, media out easily they need to be simpler to use the silver pipe you see at the bottom here is just to redirect the exhaust uh, off of the the tire we had to redo the exhaust put our mount on um, this is the T and exhaust or intake T uh, the white tubing you see is spa tubing it's a rigid plastic tubing has a coil in it um, pretty thick wall about an eighth inch wall uh, we're using ball valves. We actually don't even adjust this when we use our flare valve up here uh, as our main valve. It actually works real well. Uh, this is nice if you're trying to put starting fluid in or something actually to get a start. You can see our weld, I said braze, it's actually a weld um, around the uh, air cleaner to put our T in and it just seals. We seal it with silicone around the base uh, which um, is good for our intake. Um, you can see the clamp on the gas line uh, notice that uh, we do have the gas indeed shut off <laughs> and uh, so we're not getting any extra gas there. Okay, well what we see here is you know it's been sitting here for a few minutes. Uh, now the normal start procedure is we turn on our fan okay, um, and then switch on the key and let the fan get up to speed. That usually gets us going there. Um, then once we get that going, uh, you can start to see the fan shake a little bit. You can start to see some smoke uh, starting to come out there. Um, and that'll take just a minute and we'll get, let's see, we're starting to get some. So we'll go over here and I'm going to put the, the camera back in the uh, tripod and we'll see if we can get a start here.